Adam Liu has been wanting to experience the world outside of his hometown of Taichung, Taiwan. The opportunity to do that came almost six months ago. Just at that time, my company was sending employees to the U.S., so I chose to come here. Liu works for Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, the world's largest semiconductor chip maker. He is one of hundreds of workers from Taiwan who have moved to Phoenix, Arizona, the location of this TSMC facility. Every day we're still very busy, but over different things. In Taiwan, we were mass producing chips, so we have to focus on the production line. But in the U.S., after I got here, we haven't started producing at the moment, so we're just in the learning process. The facility is the cornerstone of President Joe Biden's agenda to push for making chips in the U.S. instead of outsourcing this technology. TSMC's Phoenix workforce is made up of Americans and Taiwanese, which comes with challenges. We are used to speaking in Mandarin, and now we have to change to English to help the Americans we work with understand. It takes a bit more effort. We used to be like... Julie Sun knows about the cross-cultural challenges. She teaches English at this Chinese Baptist church in Phoenix and is the wife of a TSMC employee from the U.S. Working at TSMC when compared to working at an American company is not the same. So regardless of whether it's someone from Taiwan or a U.S. worker, all have certain pressures because they need to get used to differences in language, culture, and a different way of living. Michael Lynn, pastor of the church, saw the need and created this English and culture class for the spouses of TSMC employees from Taiwan. I myself have walked down this path before. Once you can understand, you can communicate without barriers. After attending the class, I'll be more familiar with the way the local residents in Phoenix talk or differences in cultural celebrations. So those are some of the things I want to be more familiar with. The influx of new residents from Taiwan has brought business to this part of Phoenix, transforming empty apartments into a village of TSMC employees. They have booked like the entire complexes at these apartments, which is great. I mean, I couldn't imagine working somewhere where you don't have residency and then all of a sudden someone comes in and they book every single unit, which is obviously going to be busy. For Leo, he says he's a bit bored outside of work on weekdays, but tries to do some sightseeing on the weekends. Everywhere I go, the scenery is impressive because I can't see that in Taiwan. Scenery of the desert southwest that is as different from Taiwan's green landscape as Mandarin Chinese is to English. Reporting with Stella Xu in Phoenix, Elizabeth Lee, VOA News, Washington.